Tonight on Garage Karate, we come to you with a discussion of the greatest opponent yet for the ninja. It's nature itself. Now, you see, the forest is full of life. And where there is life, the ninja sees a formidable opponent. Now, some karate masters, they use their fists to prove their might while they break boards. I say, breaking boards is an empty act because those boards were already dead. A true karate fighter goes to the woods and finds a living tree to fight. The ninja understands the trees. He climbs them. He learns the forest. He talks to the animals. They rarely acknowledge him. If a tree falls in the woods and there's no one there to hear it, a ninja might have heard it because he was probably there hiding in the first place because the ninja is one with the forest and then he destroys it. The ninja knows you can't really be lost in the woods. You don't need water or food or a compass or the stars to guide you. All you need are your karate skills and the will to act on them. All right, thank you. Us!